Hey everyone, this is Ty. Welcome back to the channel. So I am certain by now that you have seen and heard about the new Harley Davidson 2023 lineup. And so we're gonna be talking about that a little bit today because I'm left wondering, is it time to trade in my 2021 Street Glide CVO for something? Yeah, I don't know, but let's talk about it. You know, like many of us that love the Harley Davidson brand, I watched and attended one of the live streams for the 120th anniversary reveal with Harley Davidson. I actually went over to my local dealership at White Lightning Harley Davidson, made a video of it. Everybody had a really good time that day. And so even before that, I was starting to formulate some questions as far as, you know, do I want to, do I want to, trade? Do I want to sell? What is it that I want to do with this motorcycle, if anything? So I think the first question that I want to answer with you guys is, why would I even want to move on from this motorcycle? Now, just to provide you guys a little bit of context surrounding this conversation, back in 2020, I was on another street glide. My wife and I, we were involved in a motorcycle wreck and that one got totaled. And man, I was so happy once I recovered and I was able to get going again. I was so happy to, to the possibility of even getting on two wheels again. And when the opportunity came up and my local dealership, White Lightning, helped me find and purchase this motorcycle, man, I was all in, absolutely all in. Still love this motorcycle, still love the Street Glide. It is a great bike, don't get me wrong, but I'm just kind of formulating and starting to ask questions. You know, since I have purchased this motorcycle, see if I can get there, there we go. Since I've purchased my Lowrider ST, it's really um, caused me to evaluate my taste and my preferences in motorcycling, and they have changed. They most definitely have changed. I love the soft tail model. I really do. I think it's fantastic. So what am I going to do from here going forward? Of course, that's what this whole uh, conversation is about today. Well, the way I look at it right now, I have a couple different options that I could do. Number one, I could sell this bike. Been there, done that, tried that. Tried a bunch of different ways to sell this motorcycle. Now, it could have been that I was priced a little too high, priced a little too aggressively. Don't want to take a huge beating if I have to sell the CVO, but I have tried to sell it. And man, I'm telling you, in this market with used motorcycles, at least the way it's been for the past couple of months, things were just not working out at all. Option two, eh, that could possibly be a trade. But then that opens up the question, okay, what am I gonna trade for? And am I, am I gonna trade this bagger in for another bagger or some other soft tail? Am I gonna trade for something that Harley's produced for the 120th anniversary or a special, a standard? Kind of the list goes on and on, all those type of things. So if I'm going to trade the CVO, I definitely have a lot of options. I tell you what, in the comments below, you guys tell me if you were in my situation and you were going to trade this bike, what would you trade it in for? Option number three would be, I could just hang on to the motorcycle. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a great motorcycle, runs perfectly. It's got all the bells and whistles, that's for sure. I could hang on to this CVO and make it everything that I want it to be. Well, what do you think? What do you guys think about the 2023 Harley Davidson lineup. Specifically, I want to know what you think about the 120th anniversary edition motorcycles. I've heard a lot of criticism. I've also heard a lot of compliments. Um, you either love them or hate them, I think. And uh, what about the rest of the lineup? What do you guys think about what Harley Davidson has produced so far? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, you know what another option would be that I just thought of? I could also hang on to the motorcycle and see what Harley is going to do later this year. I mean, I, we know there's going to be some other CVO models coming out. I, I don't want another CVO. I don't want to go down that route, but maybe they're going to be doing something else. So maybe I want to hang on and see what Harley is up to. Now, friends, I do want to be open and honest with you about something. So here we go. You see this motorcycle right here? It's a different subject, but this Lowrider ST, this motorcycle is not going anywhere. So if you enjoy my Lowrider ST content, please continue to do so. I love this bike, it's absolutely fantastic. Hanging on to it for as long as I can. Well, I do have a little bit of time to decide and figure out exactly what it is I wanna do, but I am closing in on a decision and I want to hear 
from you. So I tell you what, I sure do appreciate your time very much. If you do like this motorcycle, if you like the CVO and the Street Glide, I tell you what, check out this playlist here or here, wherever, wherever it goes. I'm going to put a playlist up here so you can check out some other CVO related videos if you're interested in that. I hope you guys have an excellent day and we'll talk to you again soon.